In celebration of the holiday of Sukkot, we are reaching out to uh, members of the Jewish community who otherwise might not have the opportunity of making a blessing on their own, especially those that are homebound. Inside the sukkah. We really want to include as many people as possible. So Leon is, is, is a dear friend. Um, He's a Holocaust survivor who's, who's really suffered through a lot, but has an incredibly strong sense of faith. And he really, you know, cherishes the opportunity of being part of a, a Jewish observance and tradition. And he was really excited that we came and that we remember him and that, that, he, that he counts. But I think it's really important to really explore as many ways as possible within the context of, uh, you know, precautions and safety to make sure that we don't, you know, we, we continue reaching out to people, now more than ever, because people are often feeling sense of uh, being isolated and maybe somewhat forgotten. And there really is nothing, there's something very visceral about, you know, being able to hold a love and a trog, not Zoom. You know, it's real. It's a real, it's a physical, physical connection, which really, I think, also emphasizes the idea that the, the, the physical bond between us still exists. You know, it hasn't gone offline. It hasn't gone into Zoom.